From the total solar eclipse to the northern lights dipping into the southern U.S., it has been a viral year for the sun. Oh, yeah. Now NASA's on a mission to touch our closest star or at least get closer than ever before. Sarah Allegra joins us live now from outside NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Sarah, just days away from this big moment. Yeah, absolutely. We are just about a week away. So coming up on Christmas Eve, NASA's Parker Solar Probe is going to get as close as it's ever been to the sun. Now that's just under 4 million miles away. And you're probably thinking, I know I did. I mean, that sounds a little far still, but I'm here to tell you it's much closer than you may think actually flying uh, through the solar corona. That's the upper atmosphere of the sun. And if you had a, uh, a football field with the Earth at one side and the sun at the other, Parker Solar Probe would be right at the four yard line. So it really is in the red zone here uh, in more ways than one. Yeah, so Parker's been orbiting the sun since its launch in 2018. Now, with each pass, the spacecraft gets closer to the sun. Now, this time coming within 3.8 million miles of its surface, to be exact. Now, Parker's, of course, unmanned and built for extremes and will withstand temperatures over 1 million degrees. Imagine that, while traveling at 430,000 miles an hour. To give some perspective to you, that's fast enough to get from Philly to to DC in just about one second. Now the goal here is to strengthen our understanding of solar wind and how it affects life and technology here on Earth, like getting a better understanding of what happens during a solar eclipse. Where we were actually able to block out most of the sun's light with the moon and then you could see this beautiful structured solar corona and we learned a lot about that right um, and we also learned a lot about all the explosions that occur on the sun and they come barreling towards the earth and they influence our earth's magnetosphere and they create those beautiful aurora borealis um, but there's nothing like going to where those things are being created and produced which is what, what we're doing with parker solar probes and it's so interesting to learn about how the spacecraft can withstand the extreme heat. I mean, I mentioned earlier, 1 million degrees Fahrenheit. It has the heat shield that's going to keep it cool right around room temperature, so 85 degrees to protect all of that equipment to get us one step closer to touching the sun, so to say, for the future of space exploration. Again, coming up on Christmas Eve, quite a gift for us all.